Hello, I'm EpiXTrika and welcome back to a Minecraft mod video. That's right, I'm doing something a lot of you probably don't expect and honestly, you know, the reason behind that is because most Minecraft mods are too huge and all-encompassing that eventually you get bored of them because they kind of change Minecraft into a different game or they're really small and specific and, you know, focused on something that you can make a catchy YouTube thumbnail out of. But the truth is there aren't many mods in between that just kind of extend the existing Minecraft gameplay for people who want to kind of take it a bit further. And that's why, although I'll say most mods have issues in some ways, could be improved, one of the favorite mods that always is recommended to me and one of the ones I've actually enjoyed every time it's come up is the Quark mod and today I wanted to give you a little bit of a showcase of the Quark mod because the core concept is just this is a mod which adds things to Minecraft which could conceivably add it be added by the developers and which should be added by the developers and the thing about that is like okay that's a nice mission statement but what does that really mean well let's just say that colored beds were in this mod before they're in the main game and all of these features you're seeing right here again it looks like they're just you know aquatic update features no this is Minecraft 1.12 and they're not in here because they modded you know new new features into the old game. These features existed in this mod from 1.12 and even a bit beyond then and have now only recently been added into the latest Minecraft updates. So there are a whole bunch of features where this, you know, particular update, you know, new trapdoors, new bark blocks, new uh, stairs and slabs were all predicted in this, uh, you know, particular mod before they were added to the game. And I feel like that level of future prediction is why I wanted to go through this mod because it's not only an interesting look as to what could and should be added to Minecraft, but also what might be added based on a pretty good history of features actually coming into the game, like these iron rods and stuff like that so let me talk about uh you know the quark mod today and hopefully you all do enjoy it give it a like on the video if you do because it helps out the channel a lot and let's know you do like the mod videos particularly on quark because again i feel like quark is in a very different category to every single other mod out there in a really good and positive way so again i'm not uh, if you like minecraft mods that's great but even if you don't like minecraft mods i feel like this is you know not only a minecraft mod for people who like minecraft mods because you can combine it with ones but this is the minecraft mod even for people who don't necessarily like minecraft mods and just want to give it a shot and let me explain uh, why that is uh, and also to give a, a fun little anecdote as to how it predicted the future even more one of the features that I saw in this mod when I first checked it out was the fact that it had uh, pirate ships that, so they're basically ships that are floating on the ocean you can find them from time to time and I was like that's so crazy wild and unrealistic but guess what in the aquatic update there are sunken ships that sometimes generate fully and look suspiciously close to this so yeah pretty much every feature inside this is something that really conceivably could be added in a pretty big way and uh, yeah because of that I feel like every single feature we check out today is uh, an interesting look into how the Minecraft future can kind of develop. So, uh, yeah, with that said, though, let me uh, just kind of, uh, I guess, preface this by saying uh, the fact that the thing that makes this mod so amazing is the fact that not only is it features that should be added to the game, it's the fact that you can turn as much of it off as you'd like to. So, I'm using the full version of the mod right now. I think that's essential to say. Uh, and if, But if you don't like a lot of the features, so you don't like the fact that, it, you know, there's automation features, turn them all off altogether. If you don't like the new blocks because you think we should use existing Minecraft blocks just in different ways, you can turn them off all the altogether. If you don't like the fact that there's inventory management stuff, which maybe it's not your thing, you can turn off all the features and even go in and individually turn off like this one, that one. You can pick every single individual feature in this mod, which is something I absolutely love because it means you can have a mod as big or as small as you're after. You can take away any features if you think they're unrealistic because even though I thought this was unrealistic and I would have removed it, I mean obviously it's come now, but if, if you don't like these things, if you don't like the fact that you can wear a pirate hat, remove those features from the game and boom, they're entirely gone, which I absolutely do love. So let's go with some of the features inside this mod though because I feel like I really have to mention uh, the fact that so many of them just make sense and likely will be added in some way like oh you know what? guess what brand new types of uh, you know chests right here like acacia chest looks wonderful dark oak chest looks wonderful birch chest I, I love those so much uh, as well as different types of uh, bookshelf you know it's just one where it's like actually why isn't that in the game already and I think mods that do stuff like this are great because they're the sorts of things that you would just be happy with if they came in an instant and it kind of is like your own little mini Minecraft update that you can download and enjoy it all at once. So let me show you a few more features around here because we've got iron ladders, we've got the, uh, the <laughs> it's called like the looking block, I forget its name, uh, the ender watcher, which uh, again looks crazy but it's kind of uh, simple, I'll explain it later. Uh, then we've got dyed slabs and we've got dyed flower pots and you might say all of these ideas are ridiculous. I know a lot of you probably do like them but there's an easy way for you know the negative part of your brain to be like nah that's silly, we'll never see any of these features right, like no Mojang staff member would ever come up with any of these ideas except wait a minute, actually when it comes to the dyed planks right here, these were an idea 
for early Minecraft and they still are on the list of things that could come in the future because they have said they'd love to have dyed planks. It's just they later turned it into terracotta, um, which by the way, would make sense for stuff like this. And uh, yeah, iron ladders, not such a ridiculous thing either. And also another thing that you could totally see coming into Minecraft is the Ender Watcher. So again, these three ideas, they're just like, oh yeah, solid cosmetic choices. One's even been, di one came from a Minecraft development, I, I, you know, team. And then it's like, actually, let's put it in this uh, update and it looks nicer. Uh, one of them, in the case of these flower pots, is like, well, I mean, wouldn't be too much extra work. The iron ladders, again, it's just like uh, having more choices. Slowly the game is moving that direction. And given that we have uh, no limit to block IDs, seems even more likely. And stuff like the Ender Watcher, which is probably the most out there idea, it's actually a pretty simple one. It's just when you look at the block, which again, it's IF Ender, so like, it, you know, it makes sense uh, with the block kind of law. When you look at the block, it outputs a redstone signal. Stuff like this in the game adds to creativity. And if there's ever a redstone update V2, expect something like this to be in there. Because it's such a popular suggestion and here it is right now and that's you know that's another thing I kind of love about this it's the fact that it's not only a lot of features in this update that you know look great and would be wonderful like wouldn't you love to play around with these beautiful beautiful slabs but there are also features that are highly requested because a lot of people have these sorts of ideas um, and again they, they seem like they'd match up with Minecraft and that's how they make it into a mod like this before the main game and yeah the fact that there is a guy out there his name is Vasky by the way the guy who develops this who is uh, you know just slowly adding all these features to allow people to have more creativity is something I really do quite love. See, I'm <laughs> I'm extra pirate toy cat now with my pirate hat and my pirate thing. But you can see every one of these features, not only is it the fact that like there's so many that makes it so cool, it's the fact that you can turn them off if you think they're too far. And I, I like that a bit. So let's go to the nether and just kind of show off a few more things before we uh, summarize a, 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 what's going on here. Because I really feel like when we look at all of these features, we're kind of getting a peek into what the future could be. Like when you see soul sand stone, so this is soul sand turned into sandstone, obviously, and uh, then turned into walls and sta stairs and slabs, etc. You can look at this and be like, yeah, I, I, I like that. that. That blends with the never pad it really well, actually. Same with magma bricks. This is something where like, why is this not in the game already? You look at this and you really want to see it already there. And, um, I, I absolutely love these features for that reason. So, um, yeah, what overall, my thoughts on this mod are I, I really like it. I think every single time you look around and see something new, you're like, yeah, actually, that would be great. Like, there's a never specific ore. It's kind of on the same level as andesite and diorite and uh, granite. This ore right here, it's called uh, basalt. And uh, basalt is a really interesting block because it's found in the never in little splodges. It gives a new thing to find and you find it in huge uh, you know, batches. So you can mine a bunch or you can mine a little, but there's some threats, obviously. Uh, really great idea, really great feature, right? And um, the fact that there's a new uh, type of enemy in the uh, never, again, to me, I was like, that's silly. But then you think about it and it's like, oh yeah, Banshee, like it's an undead, undead monster looks, actually honest, I'll, I'll be honest, it looks a bit goofy, but <laughs> you know, it's something you could totally see being the next mob in the next update, right? Like it's kind of similar to the Phantom of the Night Sky. Um, and it, yeah, the, the fact that when you look around and every feature makes sense is something that's great because you don't have to adapt your play style to play this mod in the slightest. You can just play Minecraft normally. Like, you could not even notice this mod is turned on pretty easily. Like, obviously, you notice when you go to the Never and there's a black splodge, but it doesn't affect your game. It's like, oh yeah, I don't need that to do anything. It's just, there's some new exciting blocks from that. You wouldn't, you don't need to notice the magma brick uh, stairs are a thing, but it looks wonderful when you do, or that um, I th this is iron plates and iron plate slabs and iron bars. You don't need to know all these things are a thing, but when they do come up, they're wonderful. They allow you to make something that you know you want to make. And uh, like, you know, I, I really would like to see stuff like this. And uh, the more you look through like just the list of creative features, because I spent quite a few, uh, quite some time uh, kind of looking through and been like, sugar cane stairs, yes, I'm down with that. And there are very few features that you'll ever find objectionable or be confused by, like what is glossellium and permafrost stairs? And uh, because of that, that is the single biggest thing I would say about this mod. It's the best mod for people who don't know mods because you can turn on as much as you like and you can ignore most of the features that you don't turn off or you know, don't decide not to turn on. Well, you know, that's a confusing triple negative step, but you get my point. Uh, you can actually uh, decide as much of this mod as you like and I absolutely do adore that. So there's one more thing I want to show off for the end here because as far as like future predictions, I think a lot of these features are very likely for future updates. Like I've already shown off how like kind of in the course of the last six months, a bunch of the feature prediction of, or features in this, uh, you know, mod became real features, you know, not 
not because the guy wanted them to, just because, like, they happen to have the same ideas in some way. And I feel like because of that, I'm really excited because there's a lot of underground features specifically in this update. And one of them is one that I I think I love the most. So this is kind of like not only a message to, like, you know, the the developer who made it, because, you know, again, the same Satsuki done it, did a really good job, one of the best uh, mods out there, in my opinion, uh, because of all the customization and stuff like that. But it's the fact that, um, you know, stuff in here, I'm like, okay, if this is coming for the future, I'd be excited for this. So any Minecraft developers out there, I mean, if you're looking for ideas, not only should you play this mod, but you should specifically go underground, because this does a really weird thing uh, that's underground biomes, so you can sometimes find a sandstone biome underground. Isn't this an exciting thing to explore? It's like the abandoned mineshaft, but there's one... Oh, there's a zombie spawner with a little chest underneath it. But there is a... Um, the fact that you can find underground biomes, really, really cool little thing. There's eight of these in the game. They're all exciting different things. They're like abandoned mine shops, and you can find them in so many different varieties. Uh, I think we need more stuff like this in Minecraft. I think underground has been such a neglected part of the main game, and I'm excited because based on the number of underground features in this, and based on the track record for adding features to this mod that then later get added to the game, I'm excited in that regard. So actually, you know, I, I will say that is the... The, the worst thing about this mod, like, the biggest criticism you can raise is kind of not a criticism, right? But it's, um, the biggest, you know, downside to this is that if you download this mod and then leave it for three or four years, most of the features will be in the default game by itself. It's kind of like downloading new features early, but features that have only been conceived of or have only been an idea or only popular ideas. And to me, that sounds perfect. As someone who loves to play Minecraft Vanilla, I play Minecraft Vanilla, I check out the updates. I love new update stuff because it's usually really well thought out, really well balanced. This update has that except it's not minecraft vanilla it is a minecraft thing and uh, if that sounds like something you want then this is the uh, minecraft mod for you uh minecraft quark i'll leave a link down below uh the, again uh, not only to the website but also to the guy who makes its patreon uh yeah this is awesome stuff keep it up and I, you know, it's, a lot of people are always like, you know, you have to believe all the way on something. If you say you don't like mods, you can't like all the mods. And I'll be honest, there are, there are mods I like. It's just most mods I don't. But this mod definitely fits in the category of like, yeah, it, it does a really great job. And I hope you all agree with that fact. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Because I'll see you all in the next one. Captain Toycat, out. Cat, out.